If you're looking to make your website stand out, you're in the right place. In today's video, we're diving into some very cool Elementor CSS text effects and animations that will really make your content pop. And the best part, you don't need to know any code to create these amazing effects. Elementor makes it super easy and I'll walk you through every step. My goal is for this video to be a go-to reference for you. Something you can save and come back to whenever you need a quick refresher or a burst of inspiration. If you're searching for a particular effect, I've included timestamps in the description so you could skip to exactly what you need. Or if you're in the mood to explore, stick around and watch the whole video to get inspired by all the creative options available to you. Let's get started. Okay, here we are in the Elementor editor and the first thing I'm gonna show you are the basics. And one of the basics is the text shadow, which is gonna look like this. As you see, there's a little blur around the text. And to make that happen, you're gonna go into the style tab and then you're going to click text shadow. And these are the default settings, but of course you can change stuff around. You can give it a bigger blur. You could move it horizontal. You can move it vertical and you can even change the color of the blur if you wanted it to be a different color. In the same place, we also have a text stroke option. This will basically outline your text. And to do that, you're gonna to wanna to click the little pencil icon next to text stroke. And then here you can change the size of the stroke and you can also change the color of the stroke. Next, let's go to some more advanced effects under the advanced tab. And the first thing I wanna show you is scrolling text. So go to motion effects and then turn on scrolling effects. And then to make this text either move vertically or horizontally on scroll, this is how we're gonna do it. So I'll show you vertical scroll first. We can click this uh, little pencil icon again, and then it's gonna scroll up at a speed of four. So you can see how the text moves when the page scrolls, you see that? And of course you can also have it scroll down instead. So that's the vertical scroll, but I think most people are gonna use the horizontal scroll. So let's click this icon and see what options we have here. So here we can have it go to the left as we scroll down. And then as you scroll up, it will go to the right. Or we can have it go to the right. And then as you scroll down, it will go to the right. But if you scroll up, it will go to the left. You can also make it so the text fades in or out as you scroll. So that's gonna be transparency. So at this, we could say fade in. So the text would fade in as we scroll. And then we can also have it fade out. So as you're scrolling, it fades out. Next, we'll move on to the blur effect. So we can have this fade in on scroll as you th see things become less blurry, or we can have it fade out and things will become more blurry as you scroll. We can also make the text rotate when you scroll and you can put the direction it's going to go in and then you can also switch that direction if you'd like. And then the last scroll effect is the scale on scroll and we can make this bigger as you scroll or we can make it smaller as you scroll. So now that we're done with this, let me turn off scrolling effects and the next thing I'm gonna show you is the mouse effects. So I'm going to turn this on and I'm gonna show you what the mouse track effect looks like. So you could see that the text is kind of like it reacts to the mouse. So this says directions opposite. So it's gonna go in the opposite direction that the mouse is. But we could also switch this to direct and then it's gonna like follow the mouse. And we also have a 3D tilt, which is where the, the text isn't really following as much as it's tilting. Next, let's shut this off, the mouse effects off, and then let me show you the entrance animations. I actually like these and I use these a lot. I feel like they just give a little bit of movement um, without being too annoying usually. So this happens when somebody enters the page. This is the animation the text will do when it shows up. So we've got a lot of fading options. The text can fade in, the text can fade in up, the text can fade up in other directions. And you can also change the animation duration. If you want it to be slower, it can be slower, or if you want it to be faster, it can be faster. And you can also put a delay if you don't want it to happen immediately once the page loads. 
Let me just keep this as normal for now, but we've got a lot of fade in options. We've got some zooming options where it can zoom in. We've got some bouncing options where it can bounce in from different directions also. Similar to bounce in, it can also slide in, which is a little bit more gentle. And then it can also rotate in. And then we've got some stuff here that says attention seekers. So it can bounce and it can flash and it can pulse. Now, just like to have a little design disclaimer here. You really don't want to do these uh, too much. Like there's a, a balance of attention seeking. Here's rubber band. Uh, that's cute. There's a balance of attention seeking and annoying. So like if you're doing a sales landing page, this stuff might be good, but you might want to be more frugal with them on like a regular website, like the regular website pages. But here's shake and here is head shake, swing, ta-da, uh, wobble, and jello. And then we've got a light speed in and roll in. So those are all the entrance animations. Next, let's pop into transform. And in transform is where you can do a lot of the uh, text effects on hover, which I know a lot of people are really interested in learning how to do. So if you wanna do text effects on hover, this is where you come. And then we're gonna click hover. And then to make the text rotate on hover, we can click the pencil icon and then we can choose the degree it's gonna rotate, and then when we hover over the text, it will rotate. If we turn on 3D rotate, we have even more options for how to make the rotate happen, and then it just, this, this can quickly turn insane, so we're gonna shut that off, and then we're gonna put this at default, and if we wanna move the text on hover, we're gonna to wanna to go to offset, and we have offset X, which is gonna be the X axis, and offset Y, which is gonna be the Y axis. So you can change those, and then when you hover, it moves. So you see how this could, this can be a little difficult to deal with if it's too much. So you probably wanna keep things simple. Let's set that back at default, and now we'll go to the scale option. So to scale on hover, this is going to make it uh, larger if you put it over one. So then we're gonna scroll and it's gonna get bigger or it'll make it smaller if you put it under one. And this is keeping the proportions, but you can turn that off and scale it X and Y there, which will look like, let's see, that, which makes it just a little taller, but a little thinner. So we'll set this back at default and then we'll go to skew. And this is what skew looks like. I don't even know how to like describe what a skew is except saying it skews, but that's too much. So let's do it a little less. See how it skews. I don't know what the definition of skewing is, but it's that. So that's a skew. We'll set that at default. And you can also have the text flip on hover. So you can have it flip horizontal, which is like that. See, kind of mirrored. And you can also have it flip on vertical, which does that. It flips it on the vertical axis. So those are all the hover text effects. And next thing I'm gonna show you is the animated headline widget. Now this is a pro widget, so if you don't have Elementor Pro, you're not going to have this widget. I do really recommend getting Elementor Pro because it is really affordable. It's only like $60 a year. And I know you might be like, Nicole, $60 is still a lot, and I know it is. But there are just so many things in Elementor Pro that are so cool and save you so much time um, that I really feel like it's worth it. I, of course, have a pro subscription and that's what I use for my client websites. So if you wanna check it out also, I have a link in my description to get Elementor Pro. And there is a money back guarantee if you hate it. So if you have Elementor Pro, you have this widget called the Animated Headline Widget. And using this widget, you can do a lot of very fun stuff. Let me just quickly make this larger, just so you guys can see it better. 
And I'm gonna pop back into the content tab to show you the different things that this widget can do. So first we can go into the before text and that's gonna be what's before the highlighted animation. And then in highlighted text, we can put in the text that we want there. And then we do have an after text option if you wanted to put something after that. You can choose if you want it to loop forever or not. I'm gonna keep that as yes. If you turn this off, it's only gonna happen one time. And then you can set the duration, which is how long it takes to do it. So this will make the animation faster or slower. And then the delay right here, and then down here, you can put in a link if you want, set the alignment or change which HTML tag it is. You can also pop into the style tab where we just were and change the color of the shape. So like we can make this, I'll put that my business colors and we can also change the text of all of this here. So if we want to make the animated text a different color, we can do that. And then if we go back into content, we can see that there's lots of different shape options for the highlighted animation. So you could have it be a circle. You could have it be a curly line underneath. You can have it be just a regular underline. You can have it be double lined on top and below. You can have it be a double underline. You can have it be an underline zigzag. You can have it go diagonal like slash through it. You can have it do a strike through right through the middle and you can also exit out. You can also switch the style to rotating to do a rotating animated headline. And what makes it a rotating animation headline is that you can switch out the text, but also you don't have to. So I can have this say, Nicole makes websites and it's just going to type out websites and then continue to type out websites. So if you're looking for a typing animated headline, you can just use this just like that. But of course this is rotating text, so you can add more text options and you would just add them right here on this box, one thing on each line. You also have other options for the rotating text besides just typing. So it can clip, which is gonna look like this. So it's kind of gonna like almost look like it's deleting it. You can go to flip, which is gonna look like this. The words are gonna like flip in and out. You can do a swirl, which is where the words are going to swirl in and out. Blinds looks like that. Drop in looks like that, which is kind of like a zoom in almost. And then we've got a wave option, which looks like this. And then you have a slide, which slides in and then you have a slide down. And if you wanted to with this, you could add it with the other animations that we did earlier in the video, like you could fade it in or zoom in and then still have it work like that. But again, you don't wanna to be too annoying to your uh, website visitors. So remember that, like make sure you're walking a balance. And then I know all of this video was about how to do this without doing any code, but if you do know CSS and you wanted to do custom CSS, you would be able to do that in this um, advanced tab right here. And that's it. Now you know a bunch of fun and eye-catching text effects for your Elementor website projects. If I was helpful to you, please don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. If you're building your own website, make sure to check my description to get a free download of the nine step website roadmap to DIY your first website. It will walk you through everything you need to do to get your website live from start to finish. Thank you so much for watching.